What if 90% of people who use AI every day never go beyond opening an app on their phone? Something interesting is happening at OpenAI, and this time, it is not a new update or a smarter ChatGPT. It is hardware, a real physical device called Gumdrop, built to bring AI out of the screen and into everyday life. What exactly is the Gumdrop device? Gumdrop is a small, pen-shaped device that works very differently from most tech products. It has no screen at all, and that choice is intentional because the main way to use it is through voice, not touch. The device is light, compact, and easy to carry, with reports suggesting it can hang around the neck or sit quietly in a pocket without demanding attention. Inside, it includes a microphone and a camera, allowing it to listen when needed and capture visual information. One feature mentioned repeatedly is the ability to scan handwritten notes and send them directly into ChatGPT, which clearly shows the purpose of the device. It is not built for entertainment or scrolling, but for capturing thoughts, ideas, and context exactly when they happen, making AI feel closer to real life instead of locked inside a screen. Gumdrop is not designed to replace a phone, and it is not competing with smartphones, smartwatches, or laptops in a direct way. Instead, it is meant to work alongside existing devices, filling in moments where pulling out a phone feels unnecessary or awkward. Phones are powerful, but there are many situations where using them breaks focus, such as during meetings, while walking, or when hands are busy. Gumdrop is built for quick thoughts, short questions, and fast notes, without distractions or notifications fighting for attention. The idea is not more screen time, but less friction, making AI available without demanding effort. The real question is whether people would actually reach for something like this instead of defaulting to their phones. This project gained serious attention the moment Johnny Ive became involved. He is the designer behind some of the most iconic products ever made, including the iPhone, iMac, and MacBook, and his design philosophy shaped modern technology as we know it. OpenAI acquired his hardware startup, IO Products, in a deal reportedly worth around $6.5 billion, which is far from a casual investment. That kind of spending before launching a single consumer product shows deep commitment and long-term belief in the idea. This was not about testing the waters, but about building something meaningful. When someone with that design history focuses on a screenless AI device, it naturally raises expectations and curiosity about what this could become. Early plans suggested Gumdrop might be manufactured in China, but those plans changed, and production is now expected to be handled by Foxconn, the same company that builds iPhones and Pixel devices. Manufacturing is likely to take place in Vietnam, with possible expansion to the United States later. This shift is expensive, but very strategic, because Foxconn does not take on small or uncertain projects. They specialize in products meant to be produced at massive scale over many years. Changing manufacturing partners at this stage signals serious long-term planning rather than experimentation. Gumdrop is being treated as infrastructure, not a temporary gadget, which sets it apart from many recent AI hardware attempts. Recent AI hardware launches have struggled, and those failures offer important lessons. The Humane AI pin arrived with massive hype but failed quickly due to poor performance, usability issues, and privacy concerns, leading to its shutdown within a year. The Rabbit R1 also generated excitement, selling over 100,000 units early on, but reports suggest daily usage dropped sharply soon after. These products tried to create entirely new categories without controlling the platforms they depended on. They relied on systems owned by others, which limited their ability to deliver consistent value. OpenAI appears to be taking a different path, focusing on platform control and long-term access rather than chasing short-term hype. OpenAI's biggest challenge is not intelligence, because ChatGPT is already powerful. The real problem is access. On iPhones, Siri controls system-level interactions, while on Android, Gemini is deeply integrated. Browsers, app stores, and voice assistants decide what users see and use first. OpenAI controls none of these entry points, which creates a serious dependency on competitors. 
Company leaders have openly admitted concerns about being locked out by those who control operating systems and browsers. Most people do not search for the best AI model. They use whatever comes by default, and that reality shapes how technology spreads. A dedicated physical device completely changes the equation by removing gatekeepers. There is no App Store approval, no home screen placement, and no competing default assistant standing in the way. Gumdrop creates a direct, physical connection between users and ChatGPT, making voice the natural way to interact. Instead of opening an app and closing it again, the AI becomes something that is simply available when needed. Over time, that presence can turn into habit. Physical objects create stronger routines than apps hidden inside folders, which could significantly change how often people use AI in daily life. Because Gumdrop has no screen, audio becomes the core experience, which explains why OpenAI is heavily upgrading its voice models. Current audio systems still lag behind text models in both speed and accuracy, and that gap becomes critical when voice is the main interface. One leaked detail suggests the AI may be able to respond while the user is still speaking, instead of waiting for silence. That may sound small, but it could make conversations feel far more natural and fluid. These upgraded audio models are expected around 2026, aligning closely with Gumdrop's development timeline and showing how the device is actively shaping AI development. There is a deeper layer beneath all of this, and it revolves around data. High-quality human-generated data is becoming harder to find, and while synthetic data helps, it has limitations. A wearable device that captures voice, context, and handwritten input creates a valuable stream of real-world data. Some commentators have jokingly called Gumdrop a reality scraper, which highlights both its potential and its risks. Privacy concerns are unavoidable, especially with a screenless device that includes a camera and microphone. Clear indicators, physical mute controls, and transparent privacy rules will be essential because without trust, this device fails instantly. Gumdrop is expected to be affordable, priced around $199 to $299, with profits coming mainly from ChatGPT subscriptions, not the hardware itself, similar to the Kindle strategy. At the same time, OpenAI is under heavy financial pressure, seeking up to $100 billion while facing rising energy and infrastructure costs. As AI models become more similar, distribution becomes the real advantage, which is why Gumdrop is just one part of a larger plan that may even include interest in platforms like Google Chrome to control how people access AI. So what is Gumdrop really about? Gumdrop is not just another gadget. It is about control over access, interaction, and distribution. In a future where AI models become increasingly similar, the company that controls how people interact with AI gains the biggest advantage. The greatest risk is not failure, but being ignored. A device can be beautifully designed and technically impressive, but if it never becomes essential, it fades away. So the real question remains whether a screenless AI device can earn a permanent place in daily life, or whether it will lose relevance once the novelty wears off. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.